Hey guys, it's MJ, the Students Act Tree, and in this video, I'd like to showcase my artificial intelligence that I made for the game Rock, Paper, Scissors. So in this video, I'm just going to be playing a round of uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, and I'm going to be explaining how the artificial intelligence works. So it's a little bit of a demonstration. So let's turn on the statistics uh, so that we can see how the brain is working. First thing to note is these are the probabilities um, that the AI has assigned for its choices. Um, when we're starting off, it's purely random, so it's going to be 33.3% recurring for each one. There is a little bit, I've just rounded the doubles uh, to integers and just for display purposes, so that's why you'll see 34 for scissors, but they are all the same. Okay, so very first game, all random. It doesn't know anything about me, doesn't know how I play, so let's go. So I'm going to go with rock, okay? And wow, what do you know? I've beaten my artificial intelligence, but this is purely down to chance. So I've won and I've beat, uh, because it chose scissors, I chose rock. Okay, now again, it doesn't have enough information to know how I react after a win. So it has no information on how I react after an am I going to repeat my play or am I going to change it but I'm quite happy with rock I mean I played rock and I won let's see what happens when I play rock again okay well I'm, I'm pretty good at rock paper scissors I've beaten my artificial intelligence again it's chosen scissors but now it has a little bit of information here we see that it knows that when I win I tended to repeat myself so repeating is greater than the alternating and so it now flexes the probabilities it wants to beat me, so it's increased the likelihood that it will choose paper, and it's now decreased the likelihood that it will choose scissors. It's also slightly increased uh, the chances for rock, and this is so that it could maybe get a draw. As we can see, the confidence hasn't changed because it hasn't lost, it hasn't made a bad decision yet. But now let's say I choose rock again, okay? I've lost because it chose paper, we saw paper was the most likely choice, and because it was the most likely choice, the AI confidence is going to increase. So the confidence will only increase when the artificial intelligence wins and it shows the most likely probability. And the, uh, uh, the confidence will decrease if it loses and it shows the most likely choice. And now this confidence is what I use to flex the probabilities by. So I've now lost. As you can see, the probabilities have all reverted back to 33% because when it comes to losing, it was my first loss, it doesn't have any information on how I play when I lose. So my last choice was rock. I want to change it up. I, you know, rocks failed me now. So let's go with scissors. Oh, look at that. I've won and the artificial intelligence confidence didn't change because there was no, nothing that was most likely. So I've now won um, with scissors, it chose paper. So it knows what happens now when I win. Um, it needs to increase the likelihood for rock and decrease um, the likelihood for paper. But that's my strategy. I like to, when I win, I like to repeat. And bam, there we go, I've lost. But now it also has information on how I, what happens when I lose. It knows that I tend to alternate when I lose and you can see the artificial intelligence's confidence has increased now to 17. Sorry that that reset button is in the way. So it knows that my previous result was uh, scissors and it knows that I tend to alternate um, when I lose. Hence, it's quite safe to play paper. But now let's say I, so what, I've chosen scissors and it thinks that I alternate. Let me, let me be a little bit naughty and go with scissors. So here we go, here we go, I won, uh, I saw the probability was quite high for paper, so um, I'm cheating a bit here, but artificial intelligence chose paper, and what's interesting now is the confidence has now decreased, because it was like, we thought uh, uh, the opponent was going to alternate, but they repeated. So now if there's another loss, we'll see the probabilities will go back to 33%. Let's check. Oh. Now this is another interesting one. It's gone back to 33% because this is our very first draw. And there's no information on a draw, so it will revert back to 33% ch uh, chance for each. And this way, 
the AI can't be beaten in the long run because let's say you even have all these statistics and you are choosing, uh, you are playing against it, the confidence will decrease to an amount where it doesn't then change and it stays at 33%. So it comes down to luck. If you had to be someone who, you know, let's say you just go on a rampage and you just keep clicking rock for whatever reason, you just go rock, 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 rock. You can see here that the, the repeat for each of them are now increasing, confidence is going up, and the AI is just dominating the game. There will be the occasional draws, because it's quite a, you know, it doesn't want to be, it doesn't want to be too predictable. So you see the probability is almost lock in there at 57%. And the reason for that is I have capped confidence at 25. So when it hits 25, it decreases back down to 24. This is just to make sure that the probabilities don't become negative and then weird stuff starts to happen. So yeah, that is my, my artificial intelligence. Um, you can see it's very confident at the moment. It's dominating me. But why don't you have a go and download it for yourself and, and yeah, maybe you can beat it. Um, I will put links in the description below for um, the Google Play Store. This is only going to be on Android. There's the little Android man. And I, ha am I have written a, a whole article explaining the inner workings and the philosophy behind it and why I did certain things this way and not that other way. I don't want to make this video too long by describing this all here, but I will put links um, in, also in the description or also somewhere on the screen here um, for where that article gets published or on whose blog uh, puts it up. But yeah, that's, that's basically my artificial intelligence in a nutshell. Um, I think it's pretty cool in the way it flexes probabilities. It's got a stochastic nature to it. You can't uh, beat it all the time because it's not deterministic like a lot of the other artificial intelligences on rock, paper, scissors. So I think it's great. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And also use that space if you have any questions. Thanks guys so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed because I will be posting more fun videos like this. Cheers.